Hey everyone, today I'm going to review the Huion HS611 drawing tablet. This video may be a bit long, so if you want to save time, you can check out the text review that I have already written. The link to the text review is in the video description below. So this is a 10 by 6 inch drawing tablet with 10 physical shortcut buttons on the side here. Touch controls, supports Mac, Windows and Android and this pen it supports tilt sensitivity as well as up to slightly over 8000 levels of pressure sensitivity. This is the Huion PW500 pen. It's not powered by battery so no charging is required. On the side here there are two buttons. This is quite comfortable to hold with its large rubber grip and the tip is replaceable. The pen looks the pen looks good, it's rather lightweight but the build quality is quite solid. And this is the stand included. You can twist open the stand here to see the 8 replacement nibs inside and this is the nib remover. The pen can be placed horizontally or vertically on the pen stand. One artist glove is included and these two are the USB adapters for you to use together with your Android devices. This is USB-C to USB type A and this is micro USB to USB type A. Quick start guide with a card to where you can download the Huion driver online. And lastly, we have the USB data cable. This is USB type A that goes to the computer and this is USB type C, which is reversible. So if you are left-handed, you can actually just Turn this around and reverse the USB-C cable so that it points upwards. But here the touch controls will be down there but at least you get the physical shortcut buttons on the right side. Official retail price for this tablet is US $79. The price will vary depending on who you buy from. So at the time of this review, this is actually US $69 on Amazon USA. The tablet comes in three colors, coral red, starry blue, and space gray. This particular model, believe it or not, is actually starry blue. The blue does not look blue at all. I only know this is blue because from the product photos and description on Huion's website, the blue model is supposed to have white speckled marks like this, whereas space gray will be gray or black with gray or black speckled marks. The speckled marks will run along the edges and also along the edges of the buttons. You can see the white dots there. So I'm not sure about this particular design. It looks like someone has sprayed some uh, white paint over the edges. Overall build quality for the tablet, it's quite solid. So on the back you can see the speckled marks as well. Four rubber feet to prevent the tablet from sliding around on the table. Corners are rounded all very nicely and all the edges are so this is a very user-friendly design. Here we have this little sleeve with Huion's logo. So this is for you to put the pen if you are not using the pen stand. At the top of the tablet are the touch sensitive controls. So this long horizontal stripe here is for swapping left and right to make some adjustments to maybe change brush size, zoom or to scroll. And on the right side, we have some shortcuts as well. So these are for changing the volume. These are the media playback buttons, forward, reverse, pause, and stop. This button here is for um, switching between apps. This is actually a turn at tap. And this is for showing the desktop when you are using Windows. This button is actually Windows D. That's the keyboard shortcut for this button. If you are using Mac OS, pressing this button here will actually duplicate the file because Windows D will become Command D in Mac OS. The touch sensitive controls are actually quite convenient. However, I find myself uh, touching the top right button way too often because I have my tablet here and my keyboard here. So whenever I want to hit some keys here, you can see I accidentally just uh, hit the top right button again. 
Let's see what you can do with the driver. This is the Mac OS driver. The Windows driver will have similar functionality. Now this particular Mac OS driver has the black color user interface. There is another version of the Mac OS driver with white colored user interface. That version has some glitches, so that's why I'm using this particular version. So you can click on the horizontal touch control here to assign specific keyboard shortcuts. I have already assigned the left and right square brackets so that I can use the horizontal stripe here to change brush size and to customize the 10 physical shortcut buttons on the side you can just click on those buttons and assign keyboard shortcuts, mouse clicks or you can have switch screen or switch brush Switch screen will allow you to switch the cursor from one monitor to another monitor if you are using dual monitor setup. And switch brush is basically the brush and eraser toggle. You can also use the buttons to launch programs. Here in working area, um, you can rotate the tablet 180 degrees by choosing this. So this is for left-handed users. And if for some reason you are not using a monitor that is 16 that has 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you can actually map the surface area of the tablet to whatever aspect ratio you are using. I'm just going to leave this as default. You can customize the two side buttons of the pen as well, and you can change the pressure sensitivity of the pen using these two dots here to adjust the pressure curve. This is nice because this allows you uh, to adjust the curve uh, more accurately. Earlier on, I mentioned that I hit the top right touch button way too often. Unfortunately, for some reason, um, the Mac and Windows driver doesn't allow me to turn off the touch sensitive buttons, even though there is the functionality to turn off the touch controls, but um, due to some driver issues, this doesn't work. Let's test the pen. This app is Medibank Paint Pro on Mac OS, so I'm able to draw thin lines really easily. And this is actually how thick that line is. So this pen, it's very sensitive. And the pressure transition from thin to thick, it's very smooth. When we zoom in, we can see the curves, they turn really smoothly as well. The pen does seem to be able to maintain consistent pressure quite well. If you draw like really slowly, um, there may be slight jitter. But if you draw with moderate speed, then it looks fine. This is Krita. I'm using this app to show you that tilt sensitivity works. And the shape of the cursor will also follow the direction of the pen. Pressure and tilt can work together at the same time. And the performance for the tilt sensitivity, um, it's really good. Drawing performance of this tablet is fantastic. I have tested this tablet with Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Clip Studio Paint, which is the app that I'm using here, Midibank Paint Pro, Kritar, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, um, Pressure Sensitivity works great with all the apps, the lines, they come out exactly the way I expect them to. There are no surprises, so the drawing performance is very consistent and very predictable, which is great. And the pen, as you can see, it's very sensitive. So the touch strip here actually works really well when it comes to changing brush sizes. You can also use the buttons here to change brush sizes, but it would involve like tapping on the button several times. So you can use the touch controls to change the brush sizes really quickly. 
and the strokes they taper really nicely they taper very gradually I didn't notice any glitches with any of the drawing apps that I have uh, mentioned this tablet can be used with Android devices however the support for Android devices it's quite bad so for example here I have connected the tablet to this Android tablet which is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus now let me just uh, draw a rectangle for you guys to see so here this tablet is in landscape orientation but this tablet is in portrait orientation so when I drew a flat rectangle here it becomes a vertical rectangle here so obviously um, it doesn't work as expected and when I tilt the Samsung tablet horizontally like this the mapping the active area of this uh, tablet uh, it changes again so you can see here now it seems like I drew a rectangle here and it appears here so again there is this mismatch and also when I try to use this tablet with my uh, Android phone the cursor doesn't appear and the shortcut buttons here they do not work because there is no driver for android and all these buttons obviously will not work as well anyway out of the many drawing tablets and pen displays i have reviewed none of them worked well with android devices so the performance here with android um, it's actually not surprising to me all right to conclude my overall drawing experience with this tablet it's very positive the only issue i have is with uh, me accidentally touching the top right touch button uh, way too often and there is no way for me to turn off the touch controls using the driver even though the functionality to uh, turn them off is there so that's definitely some driver issues other than that i don't have any issues when using this tablet for drawing the overall drawing performance it's excellent now if you don't need the touch sensitive controls you can actually go with the previous model the huion hs610 which has a wheel here that you can use to change brush size easily um, with that particular model the cable is not usb-c though so if you are left-handed and you turn this around the cable will be pointing downwards instead and that model is cheaper than this all right so i hope this video is helpful thanks for watching see you guys again bye